All right guys, today's workout is a bit like yesterday's workout in that it's an AMRAP. So there's that word again where we learn, uh, or we have to learn what AMRAP means. That's as many rounds or reps as possible. So that's what AMRAP is, it's an acronym. Um, and that's what we're really going for. So we're gonna work for 15 minutes and we're gonna change up the movements a little bit. We're gonna get back to the core. We're gonna do some flutter kicks. So a lot different than the sit-ups we did yesterday, but we're gonna attack that core. So it's gonna be 60 flutter kicks, and then you're gonna do 30 squats. We're gonna talk about range of motion here in just a second. And then we're gonna do 15 glute bridge ups. And we're just gonna go and do that as many times as we can. We're not gonna rest unless we need to, which is pretty normal to rest. We don't want movement quality to drop. We wanna make sure movement quality stays really, really high. And that's gonna be relative based on your background in this stuff and um, just the effort levels that you've been putting in on the fitness side of things. But nonetheless, we wanna see you guys moving really, really well, making a few mistakes, because mistakes is where something where a strain or an injury or some sort of nagging thing can start to develop. We wanna to try to avoid that almost at all costs. I mean, risk-free is very, very difficult to find results in, but then also kind of throwing, you know, um, you know, you know, all, all form and, and whatnot out the window is when things will start to uh, really, really manifest themselves in the form of an injury. So we need to find that kind of healthy balance where, hey, we're gonna take some small amount of risk. We really want to prioritize good, safe movement. So I'm have my wife demonstrate those three movements. Remember, it's the flutter kick, which is gonna be 60 each round, 30 squats, and 15 loop bridge ups. And we're gonna do that circuit as many times as possible in 15 minutes. So. Here she is. She's gonna lay flat on her back and she's gonna do the first movement. These are called flutter kicks. And you notice what she's doing here. She's straightening her legs, pointing her toes, and she's keeping her hands down by her side. Oh, Cannon's making another appearance. But the feet, come here, Cannonball. There you go. He can show you a flutter tail. Yeah, that's it. All right. Sit down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus in on our feet right here. And you can see how they don't get lifted too high. And every time she comes up, with each foot, she would call that one. So one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to 60. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is she's gonna stand up and she's going to do 30 squats. Now the squat is one of those high value movements in the sense that the better you get at it, it's gonna lend itself a lot of fitness. She's nice and sore because she tested this workout out yesterday. So she's getting nice and low in her squat and she can hold the bottom right there. You can see her hips. Drop down nice and low and her hip crease just below the crest of her knee. She keeps her chest nice and tall. Okay, one more from a different angle. There we go. She keeps her heels flat on the ground. And that's what we're looking for. Okay, lastly is the glute bridge up. So she'll go back to the floor and she'll be doing 15 glute bridge ups. Now this is to get your posterior chain a lot more engaged, which is tough to do when you don't have equipment, but the glute bridge up has been um, really good at helping with that. So she squeezes her butt nice and tight, which opens her hips up and she raises up nice and tall, creating a straight line from her knee all the way to her shoulders, okay? Kind of a soft opening there would look like, if she can show you that where it's like not too high, not getting quite the activation that we wanna get. So make sure that you guys are arching really, really well, squeezing your butt together and getting those 15 glute bridge ups. There you have it. If you guys need any kind of modifications, be sure to reach out to us and we'll be happy to help you out.